Hello everyone. Hope you are well. Long time no see. So today I will be making a video uh, on Power Apps, uh, specifically on form, how to put uh, values and description in uh, the forms drop down. So as you can see on the PowerPoint, um, I have inventory. Uh, I have ID 212 as the ID, but I need the description. So I am going to show you how to put a dash and a description in the drop down. So stay tuned. Hello everyone, my name is Hao Zhong. I'm here to help you to use Office Work tools such as Excel and Power Automate. If you think my videos are helpful, please help me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you. So the first step is you need to create a new column in a new collection. So whatever collection you have, you do a clear collect. And then um, your the new column, uh, the new collection name. So it will be like collection, your collection, uh, underscore with display. Um, so what I always do is I will sort the um, collection and then I add columns. Select your col uh, COL, your collection, right? And then the new column name will be display. And uh, what is in the display is I will concatenate my column name one so should be the id column and then uh, uh, dash and then column name two would be your description column then as i am sorting i am i will put the column name one as uh, id the id to sort right so sorting is optional but most importantly you need to have add columns. So let me go to the step number two. Step number two is you go to the drop down itself. Right? Make sure you, it's a drop down. And then uh, take note of this uh, drop down name. So for me, it's DRP underscore inventory. Yours will be different. Um, then I want you to look at the default so the default is look up collection your collection with display right the new collection look up the name which is the id column so um, you replace this name title with your column name with uh, id equal parent dot default comma display so this will essentially uh, default that drop down to show uh, the id plus description and then for the items put the new collection name col your collection with display and then what you want to display is the display column so pick display on the value all right so there are two things we are trying to achieve the items and also the default item that is being selected so the default of item being selected should look up from the uh, parent default so the parent default is actually the card all right so step three, um, what you do is, um, because the selection has a record, so there's uh, ID and uh, description. So when you want to update the SharePoint, you want only to update the inventory ID, right? Not the description. So what you do is in the update view, you put down the drop down, uh, in a drop down name. So 
for this sample is drp underscore inventory dot selected dot this should be your id column right so whenever you select from the drop down right then um, you will pick up the id right so your drop down you will select id and description but then when you update the your table in sql or, or sharepoint or whatever it will only update the id column so i hope this video has helped you please follow me subscribe and if you think this video is helpful you can buy me a coffee using the paypal link below um, and also remember to give this video a like um, see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.